Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Lara Yamada. A year and a half after Louis Kealoha became the Honolulu Police Chief, there's high-level criticism about his leadership tonight. And it's coming from within his own department and from people at other law enforcement agencies. KITV 4's Kyoki Kerr has been investigating the complaints and is here now with the exclusive story. Kyoki. Well, we should begin by emphasizing that the people who are questioning Chief, Chief Louis Kealoha's leadership skills want to remain anonymous because they're either his direct subordinates or are at other law enforcement agencies that have to work with HPD, so criticizing him in public would make their working relationship difficult. The suspect's gun was recovered from the scene. Chief Louis Kealoha's critics jokingly refer to him as Chief No Aloha, or King Louis, because they say behind closed doors he'll sometimes berate underlings and attack them personally for expressing a different point of view. And they complain he's increasingly cut off from the police department's activities. In late March, he stopped attending daily morning meetings with his command staff, including assistant chiefs and top civilian HPD personnel. Police department veterans and retirees say that's the way that Kealoha and previous chiefs have always tracked daily developments, problems and issues at HPD when top brass are all in the same room and can coordinate efforts quickly. Chief Kealoha declined to be interviewed on camera, but in a written statement, his aide said the suggestion that Chief Kealoha is cut off from the department's activities is completely false. Kealoha says he's briefed twice a day by his two deputy chiefs on information received from the assistant chiefs who oversee HPD's six bureaus. If he needs clarification, Kealoha meets one-on-one -on -one with assistant chiefs or civilian personnel. The chief has also been the target of anonymous letters critical of his management style and decisions. This one, headlined Hypocrisy, Deceitfulness, Cronyism, arrived at KITV4 News last month. Sources say Kealoha has asked HPD mailroom personnel to confiscate letters like these, and someone has filed a complaint with the City Ethics Commission about the mail confiscations, according to Chuck Toto, executive director of the City Ethics Commission. In a statement, Kealoha said the police department was just following its own policy, which says reasonable action should be taken for non-work-related mail addressed to the police station to be rerouted or cancel future correspondence. Kealoha's critics also complain he's too close to Shopo, the police officers' union. When the police commission selected Kealoha as chief in November of 2009, he was considered the union's candidate, and more than 100 officers wrote letters and emails in his support. I solemnly swear. Several hundred officers also lined the third floor at City Hall when he was sworn in, showing their support for him. Last October, Kealoha selected Captain Andy Lum as his right-hand man, a position known as the chief's aide. About the same time, Lum resigned as a Shopo official, stepping down as secretary from the union's state board. Sources say some HPD managers and others feel they cannot speak candidly about union issues when Lum is in the room, worried that he may leak information back to the police union. If someone feels uncomfortable about Andy's former position with Shopo, it seems more of a personal issue than professional, said Kealoha in a written statement. Now, Lum told us his union experience and detailed knowledge of the Shopo contract give him an advantage over other managers because he understands the intent behind the collective bargaining agreement. We asked Lum if he could provide us with examples of where the chief and Shopo actually differed on any issues since the chief took over a year and a half ago, and Lum said he did not know of any issues where the chief and the union had differences. Back to you, Paula.